Let's solve a question on half-life. Here we have a sample of an isotope of francium. Initially, it has 128 moles of nucleides at 0 seconds. Only 8 moles of francium nucleides remain at 20 seconds. At what time does the sample have only 2 moles of francium nucleides left? And we have to choose one answer out of these 4 options. Alright, as always, pause the video and try this question on your own first. Okay, hopefully you have given this a shot. Now in this question, we need to figure out at what time does the sample have only two moles of francium nucleides left. So we have the data till 20 seconds and till 20 seconds, we know that eight moles remain, but we need to figure out, we need to go ahead and find out that time when only two moles remain. If we try and think about how many half lives are between eight moles and two moles. So from eight moles, from 8 moles when it goes to 4 moles, when only 4 moles remain, then one half life is spent. Then from 4 to 2 moles, then one more half life is spent. So it turns out that we need to figure out two half lives. We need to figure out 2 into t half. This is the, this is the value that we need to figure out. Once we do figure out this, then we can add 20. We can add 20 to it to find the total time that it takes. Uh, when the sample has only two moles left. So our aim is to figure out the half-life, but from this much data, we might not be able to figure out what half-life is. So let's go back to the information that the question is providing us. We are starting with 128 moles of nucleides. And then after 20 seconds, we have eight moles remaining. From this data alone, we can try and find what half-life is because we also know the time that it took for francium to go from 128 to 8 moles. So one relation that we know is that the number of nucleides that remain, this is equal to the initial number of nuclei divided by 2 to the power n. And here n is the number of half-lives that are spent. We can also very quickly try and derive this as well. So let's say initially if we have if we have n naught number of number of nuclei which are radioactive after one half life n naught by two remain so i am shading and showing how many nuclei how many nuclei remain so initially this is all shaded so n naught n naught by two remain after one half life after one more half life we have n naught by four remaining so we can write four as two square this is n naught by two square after one more half life, we have n naught by eight remaining. And we can write that as n naught divided by two to the power three, which is eight. So you see what is happening after one half life. This is one half life spent. This is one more half life. This is one more. So after one half life, we have n naught by two remaining. After two half lives, we have n naught by two to the power two remaining. After three, we have n naught by two to the power three remaining. So after n half lives, we will have n naught by two to the power n nuclei remaining. So now, now let's go back to this information. We have eight remaining, eight nuclei remaining. We start off with 128 and we need to figure out after how many half lives is this happening. So if we take two to the power n to the left hand side, this will be two to the power n equals to 128 divided by eight. This would be 64 divided by 4. This would be 16. And we can write 16 as we can write 16 as 2 to the power 4. This is 2 to the power 4. So after four half lives, after four half lives, we have eight moles remaining. After four half lives, we have eight moles remaining. And we know the time that it took. That is 20 seconds. So this means that four half lives, four half lives, this is equal to 20 seconds. So one half life, this is equal to five seconds. This is five seconds. And we are interested in figuring out two half lives. So this is 10. And from the beginning, we already spent 20 seconds. Then after 20 seconds, 10 seconds are spent more. And then two moles of francium remain. So this is, so this will be 20. This will be 20, 20 plus, plus one half life. That is five plus one more half life again, five. And this comes out to be equal to 30 seconds. So the right option is option A. All right, you can try more questions from this exercise in the lesson. And if you're watching on YouTube, do check out the exercise link, which is added in the description.